<laughs> YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Pop Shabakadu, and today is the day of Comic Palooza 2021. So it's being held at the George R. Brown Convention Center. This is based in Houston, Texas. It is the biggest pulp culture festival in Texas. So, you know, we got, we have to sport some funk or apparel. We got fun days in Loki. And it's so exciting, you guys, because we're excited to see, you know, we might find some exclusive pops. And if we do find some, you know, we might have to work out some deals or we have to show you guys what they are. So come along with us. We're going to have a lot of fun. So let's go. Uh, I just can't get enough of the t-shirts, guys. It's Funko 20, fun day, 2021. Chicago family, so we're on our way to the convention center. Um, there was a topic on my mind lately that I always want to make a new segment on, on this channel. And it will be for Funko investing because I believe that's an important skill to have as an collector. And doing so like by investing in certain pieces that you can go ahead and grow your collection. And you can use many trade pieces to trade for higher, higher value Funko Pops or any Funko Pops that you want in particular. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about those things here at the convention. So, as you can see, it's super busy, and this is on uh, downtown Houston. Comic Palooza 2021. We're gonna dive right into this Funko hunt at the convention, y'all. So as you can see, this was by far one of the biggest Funko booths there at the convention. I have to say, one thing I really like about this booth is that they have a collection full of autographed Funko Pops. Yo, Pop Shavakini, man, you haven't talked about investing yet. Well, here it is, y'all. I'm about to give it to you. So, as a collector, one of the biggest tips I can give you guys is that you shouldn't invest in key Funko Pops. I'm not trying to say that, you know, you shouldn't collect your favorite Pops, but by investing in particular Pops, you can use those Pops to grab other Pops that you really want in y'all's collection. We have found this awesome Batman. This Batman was released back in 2010, and this makes it about an 11 year old pop. This booth has some awesome grails. You got Original Sam, Bloody Chase Leatherface, Freddy Cougar, and Compound Hulk. NANI?! So 
I really love this booth, y'all. I enjoy the Kobe cards and the Michael Jordan card at the back. That's some awesome sports memorabilia. But they also had the original set of Kill Bill Funko Pops, which you don't normally see often. This booth right here belongs to one of my favorite Funko Pop shops to shop at in Houston. It belongs to Cards and Comics of Conroe. The owner, Miss Shannon, when it comes to Funko Pops, provides the best um, care and service for y'all Funko heads. So as you guys can see, they have so many pops ranging from comments to ultra exclusive grails. So if you're ever in town in Houston, I highly recommend visiting their shop. And here it is y'all, grills on top of grills on top of grills. I'm talking about they had so many different kinds for y'all viewing pleasure. This was a pretty cool side. They had some OG Disney as well as Rey Mysterio. Um, Freddy Funkos. This is the only art section that I recorded. I wish I recorded more because there were so many amazing artists with amazing artwork. Shabagadi family, so we just came home from Comic Palooza and man, I'm so tired and so beat. But I had so much fun. This is my first official big convention. Um, I have to say there are so many vendors, um, so many artists, and so many games and activities that I just couldn't film, every film everything. But nevertheless, you know, if I were to recommend you guys to go to Comic Palooza, I would recommend it 100% because I think it's so fun that seeing um, everybody, all walks of life, from collectors, um, people fans of pop culture, um, anything you could think of just united in one building was so awesome but um, I had to say I did pick up a few items um, they're pretty cool I picked up a few pops and some miscellaneous collectibles that I think are really cool so I'm about to show you guys what they are so for the first item um, this was a local artist I don't say local, I'm not too sure if he is a local artist, but he's a, a small artist in one of the booths. And I have to say, his portfolio on some of his artwork were absolutely amazing. So I had to pick up a few because I think they're so unique and so cool. And the artwork will be from um, an artist called Danny Allen. Danny, if you see this video, I enjoy your booth. I think your booth had some incredible pieces. So. I did one hand pick up three pieces of artwork and I had to do it. Um, if you guys don't know, um, I do own a Corgi, I believe. I think they're an awesome breed. They're so spontaneous and fun. So I had to do it with a Corgi, guys. And as you guys can see, what really stands out about this Corgi, you know, they're like pretty much a piece of loaf, but I just love the detail of the skeleton, the highlights of it, it makes it look so nice and so unique. For the second one, I think it's such a retro design. It's such a cool twist to a beloved character. And that will be on Big Bird. And this is absolutely wild, guys. As you can see, it's Big Bird but there's a skeleton underneath a big bird see, outlining his structure. And for the final one, we had to bring Kermit home too. 
And of course, Kermit is a puppet. And you had to have that hand skeleton. And yes, these are such awesome pieces of artwork. Danny, I enjoy these pieces so much. So I guess I'm gonna try to frame all of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the headquarters. Um, I just like collecting these pieces because, you know, someone's creativity, you know, they were able to bring it in. They were able to bring it to life through pictures, which I enjoy, which me and Pippi enjoy uh, artwork. Uh, for the second artist, um, he is, which I think is really cool, a storyboard artist for Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, and Netflix. And his booth was really cute, guys. So pretty much on his booth, um, he does stitch tunes. And what I mean by stitch tunes is that he does stitches in a variety of cameos. And Paul Shabagdi <laughs> Look how awesome this piece of artwork is. So it's pretty much stitch and every rendition that you could possibly think of, new and old. Um, down in the comments, uh, I would have to say which one is yours favorite uh, version of Stitch. I like the Dalmatian one and the Winnie the Pooh. Yes, I have to say um, Winnie the Pooh is at the very bottom, same as um, Stitch Pikachu, which I think is so cute. Alright. And we did pick up four small pieces from him as well. Um, one of our friends um, is a very big fan of Stitch and um, she is also a bigger fan of Nightmare Before Christmas so Amanda if you're watching this we are going to send this your way and this will be on Stitch as Jack Skeleton and I forgot her name, Lilo, Lilo, Lilo as Sally <laughs> Oh, one of our favorite series, one of our beloved characters too. We have Stitch alongside Dumbo. And maybe I think this was such an awesome booth, right? Yeah. Seeing all the different variants of Stitch. It's hard not to like buy all of it. <laughs> I know there were so many stitches on the stand and we had to pick four because it's if we pick more than that, it will start to get really pricey. But we enjoyed all of it. This one, this one is my favorite of the stitches. And that will be the amazing Spidey Stitch. That's awesome. And for the final one, all my office fans, I couldn't believe they had this there. I think this was such a unique stitch that we just had to bring it home. And for those who know from Dunder Mifflin, we have Stitch as Dwight. And look how funny that is. <laughs> I can't imagine Stitch uh, behaving like Dwight because Dwight is so funny. For the final artist, um, when I look at the artwork, I thought it was just so unique and so different. Um, I just love the aesthetic. It's so, it's like a twist on like, um, same with Stitch, but it's like a twist on common characters as well. But I just had to show you guys because I, I can't really explain, but I just enjoy it so much. And it's from, a gentleman and he, he does artwork and his artwork is called Voodoo's and by the name alone um, as you guys know it is pretty much artwork as um, Voodoo dolls 
had to ask him for all his stickers. I know Pivi enjoyed the stickers a lot. And I have to say, I th these pieces are absolutely phenomenal. Um, and for the first one, it's on the piece of some voodoo dolls, but with a twist of Wizard of Oz. And Pop Shavagni fam, look how absolutely stunning this piece is. I just love Ken's like, his, you know, creativity and his thoughts on, you know, making a twist of some beloved characters on, on his artwork. This was one of one of the coolest pieces there. He also has a beloved Toy Story rendition of Woody and Buzz as movie dolls. As you can see, I just they're just two dolls just laying down and sitting. You know, because you know how in the movies you see them so lively and running around. I think it's just so cool, like a cool touch of them just sitting. And the next one I'm about to show you guys is his second uh, cover art and a comic. Um, he, he told me he was very proud and I think it's so cool that an artist was is able to share his design through a comic book and share it with others. So I just love the design of his second issue comic. Which the comic is about clowns and the details of it is super crazy. I love the, the ice cream with the clown voodoos. I think it's such an awesome design guys. And not only were we able to get the artwork, but I had to go ahead and grab the comic book as well. You came back for it. Yes. <laughs> At first he was telling me about the comic book. And after some thought, I had to go back to the booth and pick it up. Ken, thank you for signing this. Um, you know, he had signed this comic book of his second design. And that will be on Haha. -ha. And this is crazy, Shivaki fam. So each of these comics are a standalone standalone story. So you can just go ahead and pick one and read it. And this one is about clowns, which I haven't read yet. I'm a, I need to go ahead and read this tonight. But I just enjoy the artwork and you can see Ken, he went ahead and did his thing on the side, drawing a redo doll as well as a signature. So that sums up of all the art pieces that I picked up at Comic Palooza. And we're gonna get into the juicy part, guys. You know, one of our favorites. This is our favorite part of, you know, being a part of Funko is the collecting and the hunting. So we have picked up a few Funko Pops at the convention. And for the first one, we have a number 50 on our truly beloved character in Disney. We had to get Hot Top exclusive Dumbo, guys. <laughs> and look how amazing Dumbo is, so. Dumbro, this particular Dumbro. <laughs> <No. laughs> I'm, Dumbro. So, I'm trying to catch myself, probably should argue that I'm so tired. But this is Dumbo, very glittery. And of course, you have the standard Dumbo box. I told you guys in the beginning of this channel that me and Pivity are trying to collect all the Dumbos. So whenever, the, whenever we have the chance to pick one up, we're gonna go ahead and pick up a Dumbo. For the second pop, he is a Houston hero. Um, although he got trailed off to Arizona, JJ Watt, if you're watching this, thank you for all you have done for the city, um, what you do for Houston, everything. And we do miss you and we still love you. This is on number 149, JJ Watt. So I'm excited guys uh, for football to come back, you know. Uh, I just love the the tackling, the screaming, the you know the atmosphere of football, and of course you know I have to build up my fantasy team. I know there's so many cool new drafted um, players in the league, 
So it's going to be a heavy stack because we have so many good players playing. So I'm excited for this upcoming season. For the third pop, we had to go old school and this will be on number 24. The 20 year anniversary special of Big Boy Guys. And I did watch a documentary on Fun Days. Um, they did uh, one of the first pop, one of the first Funko products made was a bobblehead of Big Boy, which I thought was crazy. So it made me like Big Boy even more. So you know we had to uh, you know, bring him home. And for the final pop that I am gonna show you guys, this will be a awesome exclusive of um, Funko Freddy. But this Freddy was a holiday special. And that will be on the three pack of the Freddy Funkos as Nutcrackers. And this is absolutely cool how Funko were able to do this like three pack for Freddy. I think this three pack are metallic. So we did collect one more pop Shvakadi family. Um, I'm not gonna show you him in this particular video. I think he deserves a video on his own. I think that he's absolutely crazy how you know me and Shpipity had found there at the convention. You know, we didn't expect to find that Funko Pop sitting there in one of the boots. Um, so as a hint, he is our most rarest Funko Pop in the collection. So I'm gonna leave it there for you guys to figure it out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, uh, particular video on Comic Palooza. I had so much fun doing these type of videos for you guys, you know, showing the hobby of Funko through collecting, hunting, and you know, all the ins and outs of it. So I enjoy making content for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And until next time, um, I'm Pop Shavakadu, and I'll see you guys later. But don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hey.